What's going on guys, welcome to the video. This is just going to be a short one to bring you this car crash interview between Labour's parliamentary candidate in Pudsey, Jane Atchison, and the BBC's Emma Barnett, where the Labour candidate appears to defend fellow Labour PPC, Zara Sultana, who had been forced to apologise for wishing Tony Blair and Benjamin Netanyahu dead. In what has to be an epic lack of basic common sense, Jane decides the best offence for her fellow Labour candidate's ill-advised comment is to claim that sometimes people wish the death of bad people. Now, in my opinion, her agreeing to this interview was not a good idea, which is demonstrated by Jane going silent for around 12 seconds, as Emma Barnett herself pointed out in response to the tweet that brought this to my attention. The silence arrived at the exact moment she realised she did not know what to say in order to dig herself out of the hole she had created. So, let's hear it for ourselves, because it's pure gold. And there's a Labour candidate called Zara Sultana who's had to apologise for saying she'd celebrate the deaths of Tony Blair and Benjamin Netanyahu. Should she be allowed to stand? I think that needs to be looked at, and I'm sure that it is. And I, It is being looked at. I just, I, what, what's your opinion? I don't know the details of it Well, I've all. just told you the detail. That's what she um, said. You're someone yourself who's been pulled up for previous social media posts, mm, and you're standing. I think Should she be able to stand? Sometimes people say things that, are very, that they're very passionate, and they say things that are wrong. Uh, but I don't, you know, I don't think that what she's saying there is necessarily worse than looking down on the people of Grenfell who died in a fire. Well, that's hang, what we've experienced. So, sorry, week. we're in a situation of, of top trumps. What's worse, talking about people in a tower who should have got out versus celebrating the deaths of two former prime ministers and a current prime minister? Is that really what you're saying? Is well, it? it's not good, is it? But what I'm saying is that we've got people who say these things. Should they all be banned from standing? Are we only going to allow... Well, I'm asking you a specific. Stand? Do you think she should be able to stand for saying she should celebrate the deaths of Tony Blair and Benjamin Netanyahu? You've just got through a selection process to be the candidate here. I think I'd like to talk to her and see what she was really trying to say and is she apologising? I don't know. If she's apologising, then I think that would be OK. I mean, as I say... You, you know, people you, have... People you've, do you, you, you've had your own experiences because of this. do celebrate deaths sometimes. It's not good, is it? Is it really good to celebrate deaths? It's not. But people do sometimes because they feel strongly about whatever that person represented. Sorry, I, I, sorry, I have to just pause on that. You, you've actually just said sometimes people do celebrate deaths. Of course they do. So you sound like you're defending what could be a, a celebration of well, the death of Tony Blair. No, I'm not. But, but I'm that's saying, what she said. I'm not. What I'm saying is that people, for instance, this, they celebrated the death of Hitler. It's, right. not, it's not tasteful, but it's, you know, <coughs> it's there. Well, what a shit show that was. Jane Atchison has just shown us all how not to answer questions during broadcast interviews. From the start, you can hear this Labour candidate is not prepared for this interview at all. Either that or Labour's PR team is piss poor when it comes to controlling their candidate's stupidity when on the air. I'm baffled how this person won the contest to become Labour's candidate when she does not have the basic common sense about her to know that making a claim like that, insinuating because sometimes people celebrate the death of other people, it's okay, is just beyond me. How could someone so clearly stupid actually win this contest? Maybe it just goes to show what Labour are like, I guess. I am glad Emma Barnett pressed her on the subject more, though, instead of letting her get out with the usual, I don't know the details, so I cannot comment malarkey. When, as Emma pointed out, she had told her the details of the situation already. But of course, the Labour candidate does not want to talk ill of another Labour parliamentary candidate. So, when that line of bullshit fails, Jane attempts to compare the controversy that recently arose surrounding Jacob Rees-Mogg's comments on LBC, which is quickly rubbished by the BBC host, because of course, there is no justification for wishing someone dead, especially if you're in a position of power, like a parliamentary candidate. As Emma said, there's no need to play top trumps. It does not matter if you like them or disagree with their politics at the end of the day, it's a disgraceful thing to do, and something that should be expected from a bratty teenager, not a political candidate. When Jane is pushed on it further, we endure the 12 seconds of excruciating silence that, like I said, is the moment she knew she fucked up this interview and there was no way to save it. To be honest though, I'm not surprised by this complete train wreck because we are talking about the Labour Party here. But it is not just Labour who seem to enjoy wishing people dead, namely Tony Blair. 
If you all remember back recently, we had the Lib Dems singing this during one of their party conference discos. I guess it must be a popular Remain supporter thing then to wish people dead you disagree with politically. Bunch of low lives if you ask me. But my point remains. The interview was an absolute car crash from this Labour candidate. Hopefully we get to hear more in the future because it was brilliant. But on that note, I'm going to end it there, guys. I want to thank the channel's PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. This parliament is a dead parliament. It should no longer sit. It has no moral right to sit on these green benches. They don't like the truth. Twice they have been asked to let the electorate decide upon whether they should continue to sit in their seats while they block 17.4 million people's votes. Is a disgrace. But they're too cowardly to give it away. But the time is coming. The time is coming, Mr. Speaker, when even these turkeys won't be able to prevent Christmas.